Hi, I'm here today to talk to you about the Marsh Creek Road and Trayrick Road Improvement Project. Unfortunately, we are unable to meet face-to-face, -face, but the project team has developed this presentation to help Raleigh residents understand how the project is progressing. Early design maps are also available for your review in conjunction with this presentation. The City has partnered with HDR as the design consultant for this project. The Marsh Creek Road and Trawick Road Improvement Project is a 1.4 mile project that spans from Capitol Boulevard to New Hope Road. Funding for this project came from the 2017 Transportation Bond. The purpose of the project is to enhance mobility and connectivity for pedestrian, bicycle, transit, and vehicle traffic while improving safety throughout the corridor, creating a complete street. Let me provide a little history of where the project has been. Listening sessions conducted by the City Manager's Office kicked off the project in the spring of 2019. The City and HDR partnered together with an official contract in the summer of 2019. After developing a few alternatives based on what was learned from initial listening sessions, a public meeting was held in early 2020 to get feedback from the public on the project's proposed design. Public comments were compiled from the February's public meeting, which led to the recommended alternative being presented at this time. Public feedback from February's meeting helped shape the current design. We received a little under 100 responses from residents and property owners along the corridor during and after that meeting. The survey showed that 79% of residents thought the design concepts would help enhance safety and increase connectivity along the two roads. To further assist in developing plans, opinions and preferences were provided in response to the two alternatives presented in February. 59% of respondents preferred to see a two-lane roadway with intermittent turn lanes on Trayrick Road between Capitol Boulevard and the intersection with Marsh Creek Road. When asked about the plans for their eastern half of the project on Marsh Creek Road, the feedback we obtained was the preference for a three-lane section instead of a median divided roadway. We also received feedback about a proposed roundabout at the intersection of Trayrick Road and Marsh Creek Road. 59% of respondents were in support of the proposed roundabout. The next series of slides reflect the recommended alternative based on public feedback and technical reviews by the design team and city and state officials. To assist in the visualization of the proposed improvements, the presentation includes a rendering for the Trayrick Road and a rendering for the Marsh Creek Road overlaid on a picture of the existing roadways. Important to note, these renderings are not intended to display all construction impacts. These are strictly to help you visualize what the roadways could look like as you drive, bike, or walk the improved corridors. Here, as you can see, is a picture of Trawick Road at Edgetone Drive. This is a rendering of what the proposed improvements could look like at the same location. The proposed plans would include two 11-foot wide travel lanes with intermittent turn lanes, curb and gutter on both sides with a 6-foot landscape buffer behind the curb to the multi-use path on the north side and to the 6-foot wide sidewalk on the south side. Based on the density of the commercial driveways west of Edgetone Drive to Capitol Boulevard, the project team determined a consistent two-way left turn lane was the best option for that portion of Trawick Road to reduce queuing from left-turning vehicles. Here is a picture of the existing Marsh Creek Road just west of Wilburn Elementary School. Here is a rendering of what the proposed improvements could look like on Marsh Creek Road. This is very similar to the Trawick Road improvements, except Marsh Creek Road would contain a center two-way left turn lane. As we discussed earlier, the preference for the intersection control at Trawick Road and Marsh Creek Road intersection was a roundabout. Here is a graphic of the roundabout's current design. Some of the shadings from the public meeting map has been altered to help understand where the roundabout will be located in relation to the current intersection. The roundabout's design is intended to assist with speed control in the corridor while also providing dedicated locations for pedestrians and bicyclists to cross the intersection. While a three-lane plane is proposed for the majority of Marsh Creek Road between Trawick Road and New Hope Road, mediums are proposed in front of Wilburn Elementary School to help control some of the turning movements in and out of the school. Similar to the roundabout graphic, the shading from the public meeting map has been altered to assist in the understanding of where the improvements are located in relation to the existing roadway. 
We do want to point out the medians proposed in the current design are not intended to restrict access to exiting driveways in this area. Left in and left out access would still be available for existing driveways at and adjacent to the school. These medians would also provide a refuge for pedestrians crossing, which will be considered more as the design progresses. Landscaping will be a key part of the project's improvements to the roadway, and the following slides present the concepts being considered. Street trees will be planted between the back of curb and the six-foot wide sidewalk along both Marsh Creek Road and Trawick Road. The trees will be deciduous canopy trees that will provide nice fall color and light shade once mature. The median plantings will consist of shrubs and grasses and will be low so as not to reduce visibility for drivers exiting parking lots and for overall visibility. Plantings in the roundabout will again be low-growing shrubs and grasses to allow visibility while entering the roundabout. Between the planting material and the road, there will be a paved mountable curb for larger trucks and emergency vehicles that need a larger turning area. Shrubs and ornamental grasses selected for this project will be drought tolerant and low maintenance to ensure that the plantings remain attractive without a lot of effort. Most of the species will be evergreen to allow for visual interest year round. Now that we have discussed what the project's current design includes, let's talk about the next steps. After collecting comments from the public touch point, the project team will discuss what adjustments, if any, need to be made to the design and will begin the advanced design stage. You may notice members of the project team working along the roadway performing additional field investigations this fall and winter to assist in the development of the advanced design. With the completions of the advanced design, the city will begin working with property owners for any necessary right-of-way acquisition. Also, when the advanced design is completed, the project team will conduct another public touchpoint to help explain how the design has progressed. We anticipate this touchpoint to occur in the spring of 2021. After addressing any items in the advanced design, final plans will be developed, the city will select a construction contractor, and the construction can begin tentatively in early 2022. At this time, the design team is working on detailed geometry, utility coordination, stormwater, pedestrian and bike crossings, and right-of-way needs. In discussing next steps, we noted additional field investigations occurring this fall and winter. Just so you know what to expect, you may see a drill rig similar to the one on the screen. These drill rigs will drill approximately 8 inch diameter vertical hole, also known as test boring, approximately 20 feet deep. These are used as part of the geotechnical investigations for the project design to determine what types of soils are within the construction limits and to assist in developing construction recommendations. If conditions permit, these holes may be left open for 24 hours to allow for groundwater measurements. All boring holes will be backfilled in accordance with local and state regulations. We greatly appreciate your time and patience as we keep Raleigh residents in the loop on how the project is progressing. Please review the early design map and submit any questions or comments that you may have to the project survey page at public input 5137. Thank you and look forward to hearing your comments. Have a great day.